I finally did it. I, as you can see, am almost done with the battle pass. But how did I do it? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. So I have been just grinding chapter 4 with this method. Oh, that's really awkward. I just tried to slash start. I don't have a private server anymore. I'm broke, you guys. Well, if you want to get me a private server back, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That was the cheesiest subscribe bit I've ever put. I'm sorry. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys now. Let's just get to the point. How you can grind chapter 4 in the best way possible. So, this is the best way to get tokens in the battle pass. You're going to want to click Nightmare here. And I know it looks scary that I have Golden Ranger, Golden Juggernaut, go uh, Commander in my loadout. Yeah, that, that's how I've been grinding. But, if you want, you can take out, uh, you can take out Golden Commando and Commander if you want. It's going to be a lot harder to do it this way, but you can take them out and you can substitute, well, you can't substitute Commander. They'll just have to deal with that. But you can substitute Golden Commando with Golden Ranger. And that's going to be your ticket to grinding. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot harder without those things. But, I mean, that's how I've been grinding. So, if you wanted to know how I got to the end of the battle pass with those three juicy nukes, then, well, this is how I do it. I get the Golden Rangers. Just like this, all on the GDA base, all 2-2. Two, two. So let's upgrade that. Make sure you're, for this segment, 50% speed is on because, well, there's nothing really micro heavy right now. You can just handle it, just getting your Golden Rangers down. You don't even need to get them that fast either, as long as you're healing the base. Like, sure, you might get down to, like, 30,000 HP, sometimes even 20,000 HP, but since you're healing the base, I mean, you'll be fine. Just make sure you're... Healing the base constantly in the early game. Not so much late game it really matters. I mean you'll still want to late game if you get hit by strikers or something. But you know. You just need to heal it in the early game and that's about it. Once an executioner comes he's going to start just tanking for the other guys. And damage might start being dealt to your base. Oh but I guess not. Now the real thing that's dangerous in the early game here is the air diabolus. And also I know I'm kind of late to making her. Chapter 4 grind strategy when there's 20 days left in the event, but I mean I just felt like making a video like hey, I completed the battle pass Here's how I did it. So yeah, that was kind of the catch line I was hoping for but now that I have all of the 2-2 golden rangers down I'm gonna start getting a discount DDJ here and We're gonna max that out completely for the max discounts and then we'll start upgrading our golden rangers. So that is the plan We'll start upgrading them all so 2-4, once we get all of the DJs down, and then, yeah, we can just pretty much live off our air detection, our air detection, yeah, you see that, can target air enemies on the bottom path, we can just abuse that, and this entire GDA base thing, as you already may know, is going to be able to kill the flying stuff. I feel like playing Tower Defense Simulator, I don't know why, Tower Defense X is a lot more fun, but... It's just like Tower Defense Simulator has that Pursuit rework and the Commando rework. Those two things, I really like using those. Like, the Commando rework is so fun to just use for the missiles. And now that they gave it hidden detection, it's actually more viable with the guns now. It's not just for the missiles, so there's even more usage to it. It's still not as good as probably, like, Mortar or... What's another tower similar to it? Well, yeah, it's probably not as good as some of the meta stuff, but it's still just a nice thing to be able to use casually. And, I mean, it's a really good mid-game unit. It's just that it's not going to help you in the late game, that's all. So, let's see. Now that I have a 2-4 on each side, we're going to get another 2-4 on each side. That sounds like a good plan. So, let's get a 2-4 on each side of the base. Make sure to keep repairing the base. As you can see, well, as you might have saw, it is still pretty consistently taking damage. So if you're not healing it, you're going to be in for a bad time. Make sure to keep healing it. Now that I have uh, two two fours on each side, I think I'm just going to start getting a top path EDJ now. Mainly just to buff the range of this one, but also so that I could get a uh, fire rate buff on the stuff as well. That'll help 
a decent amount. So let's max out this EDJ right about now. And now we can start upgrading this stuff again. Try to get three Golden Rangers on each side now. Three, two, four Golden Rangers. And then just keep upgrading them symmetrically. Sym wow, I am stuttering a lot. Symmetrically as well. I don't even know if that's how you say it. I don't... I don't know. But let's just... Did I select Nightmare or Normal Mode? I got 25,000 from that wave bonus. That doesn't sound like Normal Mode. Or I mean Nightmare Mode. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, now that we have a 2-4 on each side, we're not going to get a 2-5 on each side. So we might have to save up a bit more than usual here, but let's just get 30,000 gold stocked up. And there's the first 2-5 of the many. So we need to get... How many is this? 16 of these. We need to get 16 2-5s all on the base right here. And that's going to be our flying detection for the entire match. It is able to just take care of all the Seraphs, all of the Devourers. It is... Pretty good right there. It's quite convenient that they all just fit on the base as well. It keeps it everything organized. So we got another 2-5 now. It would have been better if I got it here instead. But it's fine. It's fine. Now let's get another 2-5. Yeah. Uh, 2-5 there. And then we'll get one more 2-5. And then I'll probably start getting commanders. Again, you don't need commander or golden... Uh, commando to do this or oh, golden juggernaut I mean you don't need golden juggernaut or a commander to do this but they do make it a lot easier so just keep that in mind if you are actually watching this to beat chapter 4 solo or grind chapter 4 solo it's still possible it's just gonna be a lot harder if you wanted to substitute them for anything I would recommend substituting like the commander for grenadier I guess and uh, maybe the commando for John. Yeah, having a John to get a 50% damage buff is pretty good. It's going to be a lot more micro, but it could actually be better than commander. So, you know, that's something you could do. That's something you could do. So, we have a 2-5s two, two on each side now. I'm probably going to start getting commanders now. So, let's do that. We want to get at least two so then we can chain. And let's also get a medic with them. Just to make sure they don't die. It only needs to be 4-2. That's not too expensive. Yeah, that's not too expensive. And then we'll get another level 5 commander. Com I was going to say commando. But definitely that, that's command commander right there. Let's get another one of these. Uh, let's start upgrading more golden rangers to 2-5 actually. We have a lot of money to do that. And yeah, that, that settled it. You can just keep on chaining the commanders now. Just try to chain the commanders if you have them. But if you don't, then you definitely want to make sure John ability and EDJ ability are what stays up. Now, okay, may maybe it's because my mouth is dry. I think I'm stuttering a lot because my mouth is dry. Let me drink some water. Hey, if you haven't drank water in a while, make sure to drink some water too. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that was it. I think it's because I haven't worn my retainers in a while and like I put those in. So it's kind of kind of making me stutter a little. But it's okay guys. You can still understand me. You can still understand the point I'm trying to get across to you. Okay. So now I have all two fives up. Now I'm just going to get all of the supports in this central area before I start doing anything. So, you know, a 5-2 EDJ in every corner, a 2-5 on each side, commanders on one side, and then a medic on each side like this. And you should have something looking like this where you could chain commanders pretty easily and access all your EDJs pretty easily. If you ever want to chain those as well. And they're also covering as much as possible. Now, we're going to start getting four commanders on each side here. I mean, medics. Wow, I have no clue what I'm saying right now, do I? Let's get that. And then... Make sure to get those down as soon as possible so they can actually heal each other. Did I upgrade those to... I upgraded that to uber. Oops. Oh, I'm not healing the base at all. Wait, hold on. I, I think I need to use some grenades. 
Hey, if they ever start clumping up like this, make sure to use your golden ranger grenades. That will help you clean this up a lot. Uh, okay, let's, let's just spam some more. Okay, yeah. There we go, there we go. Now let's get some more golden dragonauts on each side. Maybe if I got some golden dragonauts quicker as well, that could have gone smoother. But we're fine, we're fine. Let's get a golden commando on each side along with our four medics on each side and that will just be magnificent. Let's get another one of these. You also want to get EDJs on the outside here because the ones on the inside aren't going to be able to reach everything. So make sure to get these ones as well. Uh, which side did I get that 5-2 medic on? I kind of want to just sell that. Now, obviously, you wouldn't want to do that normally, but I just want to keep it even. Uh, let me chain commanders, because that is actually getting scarily close. That was scarily close right there. Uh, let me use some EDJ abilities as well. Some golden ranger grenades as well. Jeez, I, why am I struggling so much? Uh, I should probably be using my money more quickly, that's why. Uh, I should also use that commander ability. That would definitely help. Let me chain some EDJs as well. That would definitely help as well. You know how it is. Just keep using those EDJ abilities. I gotta keep using the commander abilities as well. See that just ran out. See that also just ran out. Let me get golden commandos on each side. And okay, yeah, we're cleaning up a bit more now. We're definitely gonna need to heal the base again because of the mess ups we had in the uh, kind of mid game there. Now, what we need to watch out for, you see, is this Ravager. So he's going to spawn on this side. You want to get, like, a Toxicnator here, like this. Or any unit, really, that can be Ubered. And then once he gets close, just got to do that. And you're good. You don't have to worry about him anymore. Uh, make sure to use your abilities, though, to kill him faster. Make sure to also keep on Ubering him. Or else, uh, he's gonna suffer a fate you don't want him to suffer. And keep on chaining your stuff. Keep on Ubering that. And now that he's dead, we don't need to worry about that anymore. Let's just keep on doing this. Keep on chaining. Keep on using our abilities. Use that. Wait for that to run out. Use that. Oh, I need to upgrade that. There we go. And now we're going to need to heal the base a lot more. We're quite behind on base HP, actually, so that kind of sucks. We need to kill that thing. Maybe we could use some gold ranger grenades, help just, like, kill it. How much damage do these do? 750 only? I don't know if that actually helps them. Yo, are we about to die to this thing? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 I don't want, wait, 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 okay, okay, that was way closer than it should have been, that was, I haven't done chapter four in a while, I think I've been making a lot of mess ups, I don't know what happened there though, I think I should have been toxicnatoring it, maybe that's what happened, I have toxicnator in my loadout, I haven't been using it at all, so, yeah, that's probably what happened. Yikes, that was really close. I think if he shot, like, one or two more times, I would have been dead. Yikes, okay. I need to heal this base back up, or else I'm going to die. Yeah, I definitely need to heal this base back up. Now, another thing we need to watch out for is when Wendigos and Grumbles start coming in. We need to be alert right now. Oh, I also need to... I'm getting my medic back up here because that one died. Uh, make sure to keep that up. Make sure to keep that up. I think the strikers killed it is what happened. Yikes. Um, when are these Wendigos going to spawn? I know they're going to spawn soon. Where are they? Oh, uh, here we are. Okay. Deactivate. Make sure to just uber whatever they're attacking. And you'll win. Oh, wait. I should have stuff in the... No, 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 no. Let me... Okay. And then... Okay. Uh, 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 uh. No, I need something there, I need something there. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, um. That was embarrassing. 
Uh, okay, what I needed to do, instead of spamming 5-2 Golden Dragonauts, I needed to have 4-2s just on every side, so I actually have something to protect my base with. But we should- Oh my god, I didn't even complete the battle pass after that, are you kidding me? I need to do that again? Oh. My. God, are you kidding me? I have to do that all over again? Oh! Well, let's do it again. Let's do it again. That was embarrassing. Um, let's do that again. So I guess that kind of shows some mistakes. That's like, uh... Don't make these mistakes, you guys. <laughs> I just said slash start in a public server. Oh my god. Yo, that was bad enough in a private server. I just said slash start in a public server. Oh my gosh, that is... Uh, let, let, let's just get it back into a match. Let's just get back into a match. Okay. Yikes. Okay. But we need to lock in for this. So, Nightmare Mode at 50% speed. You know the drill. Let's actually do this this time. So you get a 2-2 two -two Ranger on every side, just like this. 1-2. 3-4. And the last one, right there. So, uh, note to self, cover every side of the base and be ready to Uber. Turn off this speed, be ready to Uber. Or else you're gonna die. Or else you're gonna die. And also, Toxicnator the Strikers on Wave 3 as well. Wave 3 is a pretty dangerous wave. I'm not gonna lie to you, Wave 3 is a pretty dangerous wave. Uh, you also have the grumbles on that wave, so... Yeah, Wave 3 is pretty dangerous. Uh, maybe I just have a skill issue, though. Look, I haven't played TDX in a while. I've been playing TDS. Because that Commando rework, I was having a lot of fun with that. And then the Pursuit rework came out, I'm having a lot of fun with that. And as a side note... I don't know why you guys are complaining about the Gatling Gun nerf. Like, I get, I get it's a 35% nerf. That's really, like, on surface level, that looks insanely bad. But you have to understand, the Gatling Gun was insanely broken. Like, did you see how it was destroying everything? Like, it was just insane. And people, people don't understand that there's other types of towers than DPS in Tower Defense Simulator. Like, people look at Commando, they see that, oh, wait, this tower doesn't have 500 plus DPS, what the heck? This thing is trash! Um, no, you're supposed to use the missiles, like, uh, splash damage, hello, and the stunning, hello, and the trap, like, think about Trapper. Like, his DPS is horrible, but he's good. Like, a tower doesn't it just need, like, 500 a billion plus DPS to be good, you guys. Just look at Gatling Gun. Its main thing is piercing. Okay. The piercing is why it's so good. I mean, it's mainly a crowd control tower anyway. It's not meant to be doing good single target DPS. That's what it was before. It was doing good single target DPS. And the fact that it was a crowd control is why it was so OP. But now it's just a crowd control, pretty much. I mean, you still can use it for single target, which is nice. And that's why it's such a high level, because... It's a hybrid between, you could use it as single target, but it's also really OP as crowd control. And I mean, yeah, it's worse at single target now, but it was so game-breaking before. I mean, they had to do something, bro. Like, I, you guys are getting a bit too mad over your, uh, what do you call it? Basically, win the game button being taken away. Like, you have to understand, the Gatling Gun, it's fine, okay? Like, have you even played a game with it? Like... Like, have you ever played a game with the Gatling Gun and actually tried to use it to its fullest potential? Or are you just like, mine is 35% DPS, trash! Like, no bro, it is fine. The Gatling Gun is fine. Okay. But anyways, enough about TDS. No, I want to keep talking about TDS, honestly. The Pursuit Rework... The Pursuit Rework is really OP in my opinion, and not for the reason you may think. You may think, oh, it must have a lot of DPS, so... It, it's because it's infinite range, it's stun immune. Yeah, those are factors to it being good. But I think it's really OP. Because it's dual path. Yeah, it's the only dual path tower in the game. And that basically means... It is... It, it, it's effectively having bringing two tower slots into your game. You have a DPS tower and a splash damage tower in the same slot. 
Uh, that's kind of why Gatling Gun was OP too, because you have crowd control and single target in one tower. Because the bottom path uh, specializes in the splash damage, and if you, I'm telling you, if you set that thing to random, it obliterates. It, it does some stunning, I've heard, and it also just clears crowds like I've never seen before. I mean, other than Mortar, of course, or Commando. But, I mean, the splash damage on the bottom path pursuit is pretty good, but then the top path just has really good DPS. And another- he, hold on, here's another thing. Why are you guys complaining about things being given a lower placement limit? Like, it's a bad thing. Because, it's not. A thing having a lower placement limit in Tower Defense Simulator is the best thing you could ask for, because if, they ba if they're balancing it around that placement limit, that's a good thing. Because it takes up less tower slots, so you can- in, especially in like quad games, that's super useful. You can use a lot more DPS stuff. It takes up a lot less placement space, which again, in something like a higher squad, you definitely could use that. You don't want everyone just being in golden minigun or something. Just taking up all their slots and taking up all the placement. I mean, that's just, that's just, those are just good things to have. I mean, I don't get why you guys think a lower placement limit is bad. I mean, if if they don't change the stats around the placement limit, okay? Like, if you make the the golden minigunner from a, from a 15 placement limit to 1 placement limit and don't make any other changes, yeah, of course that's going to be horrible, but... If they're balancing the tower around that placement limit, then it's a good thing that the placement limit is not that. Because now you can, as I've said before, you have more tower slots and there's more placement on the map, which is which, which are all just good things. So I don't get why people think tower uh, lower placement limit is a good uh, bad thing, to be honest. It feels a lot better to me. That's just my opinion. But let's also talk about the commando rework. I feel like what they need to do to fix it is its uh, its price, because it's trying to function as a crowd control tower, pretty much, right? With the missiles. I mean, it does some single target. I mean, actually, okay. I guess it's its own thing. You can't really try to make it better and try to compete with the mortar or something. Like, it, an event tower should not have to compete with the main towers. Okay. Actually, now that I've reconsidered it, I think that the commando is balanced. He's not trash, okay? Like, for an event tower, especially after that buff they gave him with the hidden detection and the better guns, I honestly think he is a pretty solid mid-game option. Now, of course, mid-game towers in TDS are just gonna suck because the game isn't balanced around having a mid-game. You have... Early game and late game, pretty much in that game. The, 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 in in betweens don't really matter, but yeah, Commando just kind of fills the mid game role, and mid game sucks in Tower Defense Simulator. So that's why the Commando, he's a bit expensive for mid game as well too. Like, I feel like if they nerf the price of level three and level four, then he could start seeing some more viability. I think that's where his uh, usage would start to shine if those changes were made. But I mean, I doubt that's gonna happen. And on the topic of balancing... Okay, I, I, I hope this video gets two views just because of this segment. I, I've played Total Tower Defense a bit recently. Holy cow, the balancing is shit! The balancing is absolute dog horrible. I, I, I don't think I swear on this channel really, but they're balancing is absolute dog shit. Like, I played that game for, like, a week. I I've had a few... I, I played the game when it initially came out. I played it, like, once at some point for a few weeks. And then I played it recently for about a few days. And holy cow, the balancing is just... I, I don't want to play it ever again. I don't, I don't want to ever play that again. And you know something they did? They added plushy stuff to the game, and you may be like, oh, that's fine, Tower Defense Simulator does that, Pet Simulator does that. It is $150 for not even, like, a big plushie, like how at least Pet Simulator will do it. 
No, 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 no. It's just a normal size plushie. And the unit that it comes with. Right? Maybe that's the main attraction. Maybe it's really darn OP. No, it is not. No, no, it is not. It is actually one of the most trash things I've ever seen. So, yeah. Yeah, to Toilet Tower Defense. Uh, I'm never playing that again. I've never really had a good opinion on it. Anyway, I mean, I, I play it sometimes just because... Uh, I don't know. Uh, tower Defense game. L let me try it, but... Yeah, not again, bro. Especially not after that plushie update they made. Like, $150 for a normal size plushie that also gives a horrible unit. Like, the, the unit basically is meant to give cash and do some damage at the same time. But the damage is horrible. And the cash giving, yeah, it's, it's slightly better than all the other stuff in the game. But holy cow, it costs a lot. Not just the $150, it costs a lot to upgrade in game too. So, yeah, that situation is interesting as well. Uh, yeah, don't play Toilet Tower Defense, you guys. I mean, that, you guys probably already know that. Thank, uh, thank God that is common sense, but... And I guess I don't have common sense because... I played that game. I fell, I fell into the trap, you guys. It, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was not good at all. Now, something I do wish other Tower Defense games would do, though, and it's something I really like about Tower Defense X and Tower Blitz, is having really big, huge, grand units, like the Warship and the Bliss of Finality. Like, Total Tower Defense, you have the Titans. Having the Titans, just like huge units you can place down, it's just so fun to watch. I really wish other tower defense games would use that more. And something I actually think is going to happen is that tower defense simulator, right? They added that booth skin recently to uh, to the farm. And what I feel like they're trying to do with that is that they're trying to test what big units would be like in the game. Like, is it is it game breaking? Do people like it? That's what I think they're trying to do with that. And that soon enough, there will be more huge skins or like a huge tower that comes to the game. I really hope that's what that's for because that would definitely be one of my favorite things. And oh wait, I actually need to cover this base with uh, four two juggernauts. Let me learn from last time real quick. That would definitely be a good thing to do. Okay, let me use this commander. Let me use this. Okay, let, let me stop ranting for a second and just and just play the game because I actually need to lock in for these next waves. This uh, wave three, the next stuff that's about to spawn is going to be a lot more dangerous, so I need to be a lot more careful. As you can see, I'm doing a lot better this time. My base is taking a lot less HP than before, so we should be able to win this round, honestly, especially now that I'm being a lot more cautious i think so yeah let's okay that thing is not dying please die okay maybe i'm not being more cautious I, I almost just died again to that thing let me recover my base with golem juggernauts for, for starters for starters let me hold on i'm covering my base with the 40 golem juggernauts okay so i'm fully covered so when the wendigos come i'll be able to just uber anything i want which is nice let me get another 5-2 here. Like, now I can start upgrading the 5-2, okay? Now that I have the thing fully covered, nothing else matters. Okay, um... I feel like the windows, windows are gonna start coming out soon, so let me just... Prepare for that. I need to be, like, turning off 50% speed trigger ready. Along with also using my Uber Medics. Let me, uh, get a Toxic Nader here. Let me get another Toxic Nader here. Okay, I feel like they're gonna come out soon. There's no way. There's no way. They, they gotta come out soon. Uh, let me use Commander. L let, me, let me use... Let me use Commander. Okay, yeah, they're here. They're here. So, here, you just need to turn that off and get ready to... 
do that. Uh, do that. Uh, do I have any of these available? Uh. Okay, I don't think anything died. I don't think anything died. We're good. Okay, so we can turn that back on. I need to be ready for the grumbles, though. I need to be ready to turn off 50% speed for the grumbles. And then, oh, I just realized I never commander doing that entire thing. That would have helped a lot. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's get another Toxic Nader over here. Start upgrading more of our 4-2 Juggernauts to 5-2. That'll help a lot because of, like, look at how much more range they get. Boom. Map range. If there wasn't for line of sight, they would have map range. We still have a lot of range, though, so gotta be grateful for that. Um, When do the Grumbles come out? When, when do they come out? Uh, Oh, I just realized one of my medics here died. Yikes. Get that back. I think it was when the Wendigos were attacking. Maybe that's why I'm at a lower HP. Maybe the Wendigo leaked into there somehow. Okay, the Grumbles are here. The Grumbles are here. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Usually using Grenadiers for that makes it a lot easier. But, uh... Didn't feel like it. Didn't feel like it. Also, I don't think my slots really account for that anyway. I couldn't fit a Grenadier in here if I wanted to. Unless I don't want Toxic Nader, but I want Toxic Nader here for the boss. That makes them easier. Let me also just Toxic that. You know? Get that killed. Oh, there's... There's these guys. Uh, I gotta be careful for these guys. Okay, I just Ubered the wrong thing. Yo, okay, are we good? We good? We good? Okay, fifty percent speed back on. Trying to upgrade everything to five two. Heck yes. We need to toxic some more stuff. We need to commander some more stuff. We need to EDJ some more stuff. We need to five two juggernauts. We need more five two juggernauts. Let's get some more five two juggernauts going. Let's get some more EDJ chaining, let's get some more commander chaining, and yeah, we're good. So, I think we're gonna turn off 50% speed for this wave, just to be safe, because this predator wave can be lethal if we're not careful. Let's, uh, 10% uh, damage buff that. I thought it was gonna be 30% damage buff, but I guess predators are bossy enough to not be affected by the 30%, only 10%. Let's get that. Let's get some more EDJ. Let's get that. Let's get another 5 Juggernaut. Let's uh, save to upgrade. Uh, actually, no, wait, let's get one more here. Oh, we actually lost the Golden Juggernaut there. Yikes. Okay, I need to bait for those guys. Uh, can I... No, I can't reach that yet. Uh, let me... I can't use commander ability. Th did he just... Oh, okay. I had so much bait there and he just ignored it. It's okay. Uh, let's do that. 50% speed because we can honestly handle these next stuff. With, uh... No issues because there's not really micro... What the... Oh, did he spawn here? Oh, he spawned here. I thought he spawned on the other side. I was wondering, like, how did that stuff just get corrupted? Oh, he is poisoning his friend. Yo, chill. Uh, anyway, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's upgrade our Golden Juggernaut army. Okay, just keep on getting Golden Juggernaut symmetrically. Let's also Toxicnate that guy. Let's also use Commander ability. Let's also use the DJ ability. Let's get more golden juggernauts, please. Poor favor, thank you. Okay. Gracias. Do that. Do that. Uh, what did he just corrupt? That, that, and that. Gotcha. Oh, and also a medic. That's sad. Uh, do that. Do that. Do that. Do that, do that. I don't really care about 
being too symmetrical right now. I just kind of want to kill this guy ASAP, Loki. Uh, speaking of ASAP, I should probably activate commander abilities. Let's also try to get a toxic nader on this guy. Nope, I can't reach him right now, but now I can. Yeah, there we go. I'll use EDJ ability, get Golden Dragonaut ability, get Commander ability. I'll get more Golden Dragonauts. Oh, did he just kill a Toxic Nader? Oh. Okay, there we go, we're fine. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. 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 There we go. Uh, Commander. Gold Juggernaut. Gold Juggernaut. Um, okay, I was so scared. I didn't know if I was recording, so I just checked my OBS to see if I was recording. Thankfully, I am. Oh my gosh, that would have been scary. That would have been scary if all of the stuff I've been yapping about wasn't documented. Yo, that would have been bad. But let's now chain more EDJ. Now let's get more of that. Let's toxic him. Did I just miss a toxic? Oh my days, I suck at CDX. Do not put me in your TDF. Oh, he's corrupting. He's corrupting. Yo, 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 yo. What's corrupted? I can't tell what is. This. What's corrupted? I know what medic is. What's, what is it? I swear there's something. I don't know. I should probably focus on killing this guy. Oh, it's this thing. At least I found out. Uh, oh, I wanted to sell that guy before he died. Okay. Uh, commander, please. Thank you. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Okay. What just got corrupted? Hold on. Yo, get off my- get off my golden juggernauts. Get off my golden juggernauts. What is corrupted? Uh, Commander. EDJ. EDJ. Toxinator. I just missed the Toxinator. Uh, Medic. What is corrupted? Uh. That. 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 Please. Yo, I need to kill this guy. I need to kill this guy quick. What? I need to chain, hello? Oh, this thing's corrupted. Please? Okay. Do that. Do that. Do that. Chain. Toxicinator. Sell, 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 sell. Come on. Uh, EDJ. Uh, commander. I can't commander yet. He's gonna step on it. Why did I upgrade that thing that was about to die? He's corrupting that stuff. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh my god, why he have to stun? Chill out. Okay. Okay. More stuff died than I wanted to. Um. Okay, I don't think anything is... Oh my gosh, did I place that? Barely bad. There we go. Okay. So, how much stuff died? Let's see. Let's get more of that. 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 Four for four? Okay. More. Top out Golden Dragonaut. Top of Golden Dragonaut. Um, let's max out our medics now. These ones are maxed. One, two, three, four. I can turn on 50% speed now, I think. Uh, we need to get another medic here while also maxing it to 5 2. Uh, okay, nice. And another set of maxed out medics. And we just need one more side to be maxed out on medics. We need to also keep training our commanders. Okay, come on, come on. Let's also keep on getting as many golden juggernauts as we can. This side is looking pretty bald here. Let's get that covered. 
Uh, let's also upgrade. Oh, I mean, not upgrade. Chain Commander. I'm so close to completing this battle pass, bro. Come on, please. Oh, uh, then again, I think even if I lose right now, I should still complete the battle pass, but... You know, I gotta win, though. I gotta win. I mean, I've gone, I've gone this far. No way. Okay, let's... We have a lot of money right now, actually. Let's use that all on Golden Commandos, please. Maybe I should change some EDJs too, maybe. Uh, let me cover this part, looking pretty bald. Let's upgrade, oh, I mean chain commander. Okay, so every side looks pretty equally covered now, thank goodness. Maybe this side a bit more. Yeah, kind of like this area. Let's uh, chain commander, chain EDJ. Okay, let's start covering this side a bit more. It feels like a golden commando used to fit here. I don't know why. It definitely can't, but it fell, feels like it. Okay, but let's chain commander some more. Do that, do that. And then... Come on, come on. Come on. Here we go, chain commander. Get some more gold juggernaut. Get some more gold juggernaut. Okay, use this, use this, use this, do that, do that, do that. Yeah, I told my friend I was going to grind after this, like, but I, I don't know anymore. I feel like going to sleep. I've been stuttering a lot while making this video. Mouth feels dry. I'm going to drink some water. I don't know. Wait, hold on. I need to turn off 50% speed for this part because these golden juggernauts are really dangerous. To me, they're dangerous. Other people don't really see them as a threat, I think, but... I see them as a threat. I'm gonna kill them immediately. Because if they just start shooting through your defense, like, how do you kill them once they're deep in? Like, it's hard to. I think, I think only people who have done this without special towers would know. Because it, it was mainly when I tried to do this with special towers that I saw the golden juggernauts as scary. They are hella scary without special towers. They're probably the most hard thing about you no know, special tower. Uh, doing this uh, ch chapter. It's in my eyes. Oh, I need to... Yo. I... Oh my gosh. Okay, I just completely missed. You see, you see me try to Uber him there? I couldn't. And all those Golden Dragon Ashes died. Okay, let's do this. Uh, hold on. Get this here. Okay. I need to... Use this ability, and then I need to do this, and then I need to do this, and then I need to just chillax. Nah, not chillax. How about we just give everything a 25% damage buff? And then we just. Oh my goodness, let me. Okay, uh, c Commander, poor favor. EDJ, favor, poor. Uh, buff that. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, I tried to catch it again. I couldn't. And he kills them a lot faster in Nightmare than in Normal. Let's just get more of these, though. Okay. Okay, that. Do this. Oh, where's he gonna go? He's gonna kill everything once he spawns up. Ooh, get off of my gold jugs, please. Uh, look at that! I try to catch it every time, I can't. Honestly, I have enough money to just let them get ran over now, I don't care. Oh, maybe this side not though. 
Oh, he just went to the same area. But less dangerous. Just helping me. Uh, do this. 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 Do this. Do this. 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 Upgrade that. Do this. Do this. Do this. Uh, toxic. Cell, 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 cell. Oh my goodness. Where's he gonna come? Over here. Yeah, so, you guys, first try, first try, definitely first try. That is how I grinded the entire battle pass that I have not grinded in two weeks and just decided to finish now. If you guys love Tower Defense X, then, uh, comment, I love Tower Defense X under this video. There it is. Look at him. Oh, never mind, he's dead. You saw his face under that mask? Yeah, I wonder, wonder if that was ever intended a thing. Anyway. Thank god the Golden Dragonauts are dead. I really hate those. Even though I'm using them, but when they're corrupted, screw them. Hate you guys when you're corrupted. You guys are OP when you're corrupted. Anyway. Anyway. Is that not the last of it? I'm trying to have a moment here! Okay. Yeah. That, that's the- OH MY GOD! Who is still alive? That's how you got- OH MY GOODNESS! Who is still spawning? Do you not see all these golden dragons? Why are you running into the battle? Well guys, that's how you got in chapter 4, in Tower Defense X, Q victory screen. God damn, I thought, it, I thought that was gonna be it, I thought that was gonna be it, they stopped spawning for a second. Come on. Okay. This one is it. This one is it. That was it. Q victory screen. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. No, in three more wall pushers. Three more wall pushers. It's gonna... Okay, there's one. Okay. Two, one more. Two more. Two more. Okay. One more wall pusher. And then it's over. And then it's over. And then it's over. Yeah, that's the last one. That, that, that's the last one. And then Q victory screen. Oh my god. It's not the last one. If this is the last one, bro. Okay. Okay. Dude, when does it end? Why are there so many wall pushes in this wave? What is going on? Yeah, I I'm not even going to wait for it anymore. J just show me the victory screen. Yo. Yo. What are they doing? Are, are you trying to tell me to trigger a hidden wave or something? Why is it not working? Yo. Please. Please, on Void Apex Predator, just stop. That had to be the last one. Q victory screen. God damn, I cannot get that Oh my god! Okay. Well. If we return to the lobby here. As you can see. Uh, can I? As you can see. That. Right there. Is how. I completed the battle pass. In Tower Defense X. Why is this an hour long video?